guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm not wearing any makeup because i did make some shopping lately i have these two bags right here and i wanted to share with you what i have bought but also i'm going to try these products and say to you what is my first impression so if you are curious to see please keep on watching so the first thing that I have bought is a foundation. This is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay In Place Makeup. Uh, because lately I'm needing a lot more coverage on my face. If before I use BB creams and CC creams, I don't know, my, my skin is not so much uh, good lately and I needed a foundation to cover more uh, the imperfection of my skin so I have heard so much things about this foundation I said I will give it a try and if you see that I'm very red around my face it's because before I wax uh, my facial hair around my mouth so that's why I'm really really red so don't do something like this if you want to make a video I didn't preview to make this video so that's why now I'm very red right there. So like I said, I'm going to try this um, foundation. It comes in a glass bottle. We have uh, 30 milliliters like all the other foundations. Don't have a pump. This I knew it already from before and that's why I never bought this foundation because I really don't like uh, that I need to pour out uh, some foundation. Sometimes you pour too much. My number is 2C3 Fresco. And I did buy two brushes also. One is from Sephora, the Pro Flawless Airbrush, the number uh, 56, and the stippling brush from Real Techniques, that it's like this. But uh, I don't think that I'm going to use any of these brushes because when I first try one foundation i like to use it with my fingers to feel the consistency of the of the foundation so this is the foundation let's put some foundation on because we really need it just a little tiny amount like this Seems to me too much dark for me i don't know let's hope that it's the good shade oh no it's okay anyway. It's quite high coverage. I did apply some moisturizer before because if you don't apply the moisturizer the the foundation you will be you will appear very cakey. My first impression about this foundation is that the uh, cover quite well, but um, I'm not so much in into this um, long lasting foundation. I have also this from Guerlain, uh, L'Antenue de Perfection, and it's also like this. You need to moisturize very good around uh, the face before because it's quite tacky like this. Probably will not budge for all the day, but I don't know. I have one strange feeling. I, you feel that actually you wear some foundation. And I like uh, this foundation that when you apply it, you don't feel that you have foundation on. But of course, if you are going out uh, one evening uh, and you want that your makeup uh, last, this is probably one good option. But I'm not... Uh, I'm not loving it so far. We will give it a try, maybe with the beauty blender or with the brush. We will try also other options for apply it. thing that I bought is this quad. It's a concealer quad from Colistar. And you have four colors, just like this. One more pinky tone. This is the highlighting one. A more yellow base concealer and one more dark concealer right here and it come in a cool packaging like this it's called the cc 
Perfection Universal Pre Makeup Concealer. I'm going to try this. So first, the first color that I'm going to take is this salmony shade to apply it onto my dark circles. It's quite nice. The texture it's uh, very smooth. Actually, it's cancelling quite good the dark circles. After I'm going to take this highlighter shade and I'm going to apply it right here Actually, this concealer quad I really, really, really like. I think that he is doing a great job around my eyes by cancelling the dark circle and also illuminating my eyes. I'm quite enjoying. And also I like because it comes with a little uh, mirror right here so you can put it in your bag. It's very, it's very useful. So the next thing that I bought is this Brow Duo from Estee Lauder. It's in number 03, Highlight Soft Brown. And it's a pencil like this with a double-ended, it's a double-ended uh, pencil. It's writing here that it's a uh, long-lasting. So we have a tip like this and the highlighting tip, just like this. I'm going to show it to you right now. This is the most similar product to the Anastasia Brow Wiz, so I wanted to try something similar. I'm taking the eyebrow pencil and I'm going to start to draw my brows. Anyway, it's quite expensive and you don't have such... You have just a a little bit of pencil. I mean, I'm going to finish this probably in maximum one month and it costs like 25 euros. It's quite expensive. But let's give it a go. The color I think is perfect. It's very similar to my eyebrows, natural eyebrows. So I quite do like it, this pencil. So far me like it, this pencil. But the only downside is that it's really expensive. Now I'm going to try the other part, that is the highlighting part. This is supposed to put to apply under the brows. To highlight the brows. To make them more crisp and clean. I don't think that it makes such a big difference. So 
so this size side of the, the pencil I don't I don't find it very useful but uh, overall it's a good pencil it's a good pencil and it's a long lasting formula so uh, probably it will not smudge you have on a good consistency good texture not consistency good texture I'm sorry I don't speak so much good English you understand me but overall I really like this pencil what do you think it's nice I like it so the next product that I have bought is this powder from Givenchy it's called Le Prisma and it's in number 82 rose cashmere and it's a powder just like this it's very beautiful I really really love it and you have this compartment here and you have a little brush like this but I don't think that it's very soft cool. oh, I will use this brush I will use this brush I'm going to set the, the concealer under the eyes with this and it's a very very fine texture oh I just love it it's having uh, four colors starting for a yellow color more uh, violet pinky color uh, orange color and uh, pastel orange right here and it's supposing I think to cancel the redness and the imperfection from your face uh, I'm going to take this little powder brush that you come with I was searching from a lot of time a uh, powder very fine to to set my concealer under the eyes but uh, that you don't add coverage just set the concealer and you don't settle in the fine lines because I do have a lot of fine lines that they are deeper now we will not say so I'm going to apply also over all the face I don't know what to say about this powder actually it's very nice but because um, the foundation it's very heavy it seems to me everything that I put over that it's not all right the foundation this Estée Lauder it's too much heavy for me I think I think you need to put a very heavy moisturizer under it's okay this powder I think it's okay but I don't think that I'm going to use this uh, brush that you come with but it's good to have it you know inside here because when you put it in your bag you go somewhere you maybe forget to take one brush so you take this little uh, bad boy there and you apply it over the face so I have bought also this eye glitter palette and uh, I don't know why actually I have bought this because it was Halloween and I thought that maybe I can use it for some looks it's uh, I'm going to try some on today I'm going to use I think this color right here actually once that you take the first layer you don't have any more glitter you have just this color well definitely it's a bullshit so I don't think that you will see me soon 
use it so the next thing that I have bought it's my favorite mascara of all time is this Lancome Hypnose in number one Noir Hypnotic and it's the custom wear volume mascara and uh, yeah it's my favorite mascara of all the time I don't know let's put it on I miss this mascara I didn't use like it from one year more or less I really forgot how much it's good this mascara look only with one layer it made my lashes that they are very little and fine and short look a little bit how they made them look only with one layer wait to see which two or three coats I'm going to apply also underneath so now I'm going to apply another layer of this mascara that you see what this mascara is making I don't know the formulation the brush everything it's it's awesome you understand now why it's my favorite mascara I mean look a little bit it's awesome I love it I simply love it this is with two layers and I'm going to show to you also with the third coat to see what this bad boy can make I totally totally recommend this mascara it's awesome look a little bit it's incredible I said to you is the greatest mascara is the greatest for me it's the greatest mascara. I have bought also lately these two NYX butter glosses one it's in cupcake and one it's in creme brulee so today I'm going to apply this cupcake well these glosses I don't need to say anything everybody rave about these glosses they are awesome they are very cheap very good they smell awesome they last you a really long time and um, the color they are very nice also I don't have anything bad to say about these lip glosses I really recommend them they are awesome I don't know I need to buy more of their colors I like them a lot it's very fast to apply it and uh, last a lot uh, more long time than uh, than the normal glosses they they moisturize also your lips this i like about them that they moisturize also your lips so but also some face mask from claire's one is this uh, with aloe vera and one is this peeling mask with cocombre i really like this uh, mask i always buy them because uh, they are uh, cheap and effective I did receive a little present this is a lip gloss uh, a sample size of the Chanel number no. 5 that um, I hate this perfume probably I will give it to my mother or to somebody so I did receive also some samples of the tinted moisturizer they were I think maybe these products I will like more than the double wear yes I'm going to try maybe this uh, these products and if I like it maybe I'll buy the the full size I did receive also a sample of this Anayake cleansing ritual you have a three-step cleansing program I'm going to try that um, this Strass maybe for the new year or something I'm going to try to make something a makeup more special with this and also a little butterflies to apply on the nails because I love butterflies Hermes perfume Eau de Parfum that 
I'm going to use actually some today. You Dolce Gabbana for men. I don't know why. Anyway, if I give to my husband, he uses only the same perfume always. Makeup Forever HD pressed powder. I received three of them. This concludes my haul and tryout video. I really have enjoyed my quad from Coolistar. Coolistar, I don't know how you spell it. My Lancome mascara, my NYX butter glosses, and uh, the Estee Lauder um, duo brow pencil. The rest of the products, I still need to see if I really like them or not. So, guys, I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!